Chess friends, today I will show you three latest games between Stockfish and AlphaZero, and I am excited to announce that my Stockfish and Teen YouTube channel will now be my primary platform for regular uploads, I'll be showcasing engaging matches between Stockfish, AlphaZero, Magnus Carlsen, and other grandmasters, let's get started. Alpha started with Knight F3, I played E6, D4 by Alpha 0, I control the center with C5, E4 by Alpha, Pawn takes Pawn, Knight takes D4, Knight goes to C6, in this position, you can play Knight C3, Bishop to E2. Queen ups, you can play Long Castle, and the Short Castle which is also available, if you want to learn about Sicilian opening, then you can watch this video where Mike and Mittens teaches about Sicilian opening, I will put link in the description and the comments, so knight on c3, knight goes to f6, bishop e2, e5 by alpha, knight goes to b5, you want to make pressure on d6, you know that, d5, he played castle, a6 by me, knight back to a3, b5, threatening to play b4, so knight on d5, knight takes knight, pawn takes. Knight goes to d4, alpha pushed his c-pawn to c4, if you think you can expand your structure and passive the knight, let me show you that, if before happen, then knight back to c2, targeting on this knight with two pieces, so knight takes bishop is the right exchange, queen takes knight, a5, stabilizing the pawn structure, therefore alpha will play f4, your king is in middle of the board, so queen to e7, bishop here, pawn takes pawn, rook takes f4, threatening to play knight here then knight check. It will be plus 6 position because if you try to run your queen in any dark square then bishop here, discover check to the king and queen, so, back to the position, we have bishop to e7, pawn takes b5, if you take the pawn, then knight takes b5, these are connected past pawns on queen side, will create problems in the very moves, so, here I played castle, bishop to d3, alpha can play bishop e3 to target the knight, once the knight eliminate from this game, black will lose control of these squares, so, queen e2 to pressuring on this pawn, and the light square bishop have a very good diagonal in the king side, so, I played g6 to block him, bishop to d3, bishop f6, giving support to the knight behind from the pawn, rook e1, bishop here, takes, bishop takes, 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 we have big exchange, pawn takes, knight on b5, targeting back the pawn and keeping eye on the d6 pawn, so, after d3, black is targeting on this pawn, alpha ignores him and played a4, because he too confident with his past pawn, bishop takes pawn. We have rook b1, bishop back to g7, rook to e3, alpha wants to play rook c4, then queen takes pawn, rook here to support the pawn, then rook c6, if you take the rook, then pawn takes, push the pawn, Black will face so many troubles to stop the pawns from promotion, so, in this position, we have queen up to d7, queen takes pawn, I played rook back to a8, connecting the rooks, so I can use these squares, after rook c1. Alpha wants to play rook c6, to target the pawn with rook and knight, so, rook f goes to c8, rook takes rook, rook takes, rook slides to c4, if you take the rook, let me show you the variation, if rook takes, then queen takes, white will push his king side pawns to create some breathing room for the king, and push the a pawn, the knight and the queen will support the pawn for his growth, position will be very bad for you, so, back to the position, we have rook to e8, threatening to give a 1200 rated checkmate, so, g3, bishop to f8, I want to play queen h3 to seizing these squares, then rook to e1 which will be checkmate, and chess friends, if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel then you can like and subscribe to my channel to get more episodes, we have king up to g2, rook to e1, rook goes to c6, queen back to d8, queen up to c4, threatening to take the pawn with the supporting of the rook, if you any possible moves, for example, if h5 happen, then knight takes pawn, if you think, wah bah, alpha is dump, I win his knight, bishop takes knight, then rook to c8, tapping the queen in front of his king, so, in this position, we have queen to f6, knight back to c3, white's job is to promote his a pawn, so, rook goes to a1, rook up to c8, threatening to play knight e4, 
to target the queen, and the pawn, you might say, how can white win the pawn, queen e7 will protect the d pawn, no, there is rook to e8, if queen takes rook happen, then knight to f6, forking the king and queen, game will be over, so, here we have queen to e5. Knight on e4, threatening to play rook e8, queen takes rook isn't possible, because of knight fork, so, here we have king g7, rook to a8, rook e1, knight c3, rook c1, targeting on this knight, alpha played queen to c8, sacrificing his brother, to capture and checking the king, and after rook takes c3, we have queen takes check, king here, check here, queen takes, king takes, rook up to a7, king f6, rook to d7, this outside a pawn is a bad thing for me, you have to capture the a pawn first. Because the king is very close to the d-pawn, he can stop him from promoting but not the a-pawn, so, we have rook to a3, rook takes check, king here, rook a6, if you take it, then rook to f6 to target this pawn, and you cannot save the pawn from capturing, so we have g- Let's move on to our next game. This game is completely insane. In this game Alpha played Sicilian defense against me, and this is your 100 IQ chess puzzle. Solve the puzzle and comment me, let's go, I started with E4, we have C5, in Sicilian defense there is many openings started with D4 E6, Knight here Knight F6, or you can choose Dragon Sicilian defense. Here I played Knight to F3. Alpha played e6, Alpha want to play d5 and knight here. I played d4, pawn takes, knight takes d4, Alpha brings his queen on b6, knight goes to b6, a6, bishop to e3, targeting this queen, Alpha gives a queen check, knight retreats on c3, d6, here you have a choice to make queenside pawn progress, and develop your pieces, bishop here, castle, so, I played knight to d2, I want to play knight c4, so after knight d7 I played knight here, queen back to c7, a4 knight here, a5 bishop here. Queen up to d4, I can play castle on my next turn and my strategy is to target the pawn with 3 pieces, therefore I will push my kingside pawns to start attacks, here alpha played castle, bishop to d2, queen here, I choose to play short castle instead of long castle, which is also a good move, rook slides to e8, rook to d1, e5, queen backs, I am threatening to target this d6 pawn, so, alpha responded with knight c5, he is threatening my e key pawn with 3 pieces, so, bishop takes c5, queen takes, knight on b6, rook slides, knight jumps into d5, I want to play b4, then bring your rook, to get active on c file, I can also push the f pawn to stabilize the situation, Alpha takes the knight, knight takes d5, bishop backs, I played b4, queen backs, queen slides to b3, I want to push my queenside pawns to create some problems for black, Alpha put his rook on king home, ok c4, rook on a8, I don't know why he is just moving his rooks like this, maybe his intention is to open the f file after moving king, ok. Rook to c1, bishop on e6, I could play b5 but I choose to play g3, you might say, that playing g3 I create white square weaknesses for my king, but, I have the light square bishop to control these squares, now I want to push the h pawn, and c5 if takes, then rook takes, alpha fears it and he retreats his queen on her home, so, I played h4, my new tactic is to play queen e3, then knight here to target this, if rook slides, then push the b pawn to create a warrior, I will make a passed pawn with 2 versus 1. And black will face problems on a file, so, in this position, alpha moved his rook on c8, queen on a3, king slides to h8, threatening to play f5, so, knight back to e3, 
protecting this square and targeting this pawn, so, queen to c6, targeting this pawn, I moved my bishop back, if you willing to take the pawn, let me show the variation, if queen takes pawn happen, then bishop g2, queen backs, bishop takes b7, and that's it, it is 3 versus 1 on queen side. It means that I can make two passed pawns, if rook here then simply move back your bishop, so black cannot sacrifice his bishop on h4, so the pawn can take it, because it's not pinned to the king, so, in this position, we have bishop to e7, knight here bishop backs, rook ups, and after some moves later, we have knight to d5, queen backs and knight e3, we are just managing our time by making pre-moves, we have queen to c6, queen here, bishop here, knight joins, backs, rook ups, king here. Alpha can play g5 on his next turn, if takes, then bishop takes, try to open the g-file and get activate the bishop, so, rook to b1, h5, queen slides to f3, g6, c5, if you think it's a free pawn, let me show the variation, if you take it, then b5, sacrificing a another pawn, if a takes b5 happen, if alpha thinks that wow, I win two pawns, then slapping alpha with bishop takes b5, your queen will be trapped, if you try to save it, for example, queen d6, then knight to f6 check. Targeting the king and the queen at the same time, so, back to the position, here we have bishop to g4, queen on c3, g5, knight backs, takes, knight takes, takes, queen b3, targeting this pawn, here if you think, the king is in danger, let me attack your king, if you go for my king and play 1200 move, then queen takes f7 check, rook blocks, queen check, here, check, slides, check, takes, backs, and it will be checkmated, so, in this position, we have king g7, rook takes d6, queen takes, bishop here, backs, rook to d1. If you think, the king can be targeted by my queen and these pawns, take it or move the pawn, if you take it, then takes, where is the attacks, ha, huh? rook here to target this pawn, it is the black king who will face problems, so, chess friends if you want more episodes then you can like and subscribe to my channel to reach me 100k subscribers as soon as possible, also, rook batter is pressuring on this bishop, rook to e8, alpha can play bishop here to target the rook, we have bishop takes b7, rook slides, here I could play c6, then queen here, if takes then rook takes, then rook takes bishop, takes, takes, rook takes, then simply move your pawn to target this and promote this, but, in this position, I played rook d7, my another strategy is to sacrifice my bishop on e4, then targeting this f pawn with two supporters, let me show the variation, if you play 1200 elo move h3, then bishop to e4, sacrificing the bishop, queen takes, then queen takes check here, check king here, queen check, slides, and the game will be over which is called checkmate, so, back to the position, we have rook to e7, c6, rook takes, takes, h3, queen a2, bishop here, alpha is sacrificing his bishop, rook takes, rook to f8, I played rook takes f7, queen to e2, king here and takes, backs, here, and after some moves later, we have queen g5 check, it is repetitive checks to the king, there is threefold repetition checks, and that's it, both side can't make progress, the king is totally safe in there. And the black king will not leave the e-file, we both agreed with a draw. Ok let's go to our next game, it's a perfect chess game of alpha zero and me. So let's go, he started with e4, I played c5, knight to e2, it is called caress variation, alpha could play knight here, knight c3, therefore I will play d5, e5, knight c6, and knight f6 which is also available, but I play d6, we have g6 but defense. Bobby Fischer's favorite opening, alpha want to play bishop here, d4, then knight c3, his long term strategy is to castle, then push the h pawn to put the king on h2, then play f4 with the supporting of the rook, so we have knight to c6, bishop here, g6, it is called dragon sicilian, putting pressure on central squares, so alpha responded with c3, try to block the bishop line, bishop to g7, he played d4, 
you might think pawn can take it, let me show you, after takes this pawn is a weakness for white. Black will continuously put pressure on this pawn, but the truth is that this central pawns are solid, knight here then bishop to e3 to protect it, so, in this position, I played natural move knight to f6, we have d5, targeting on the knight, the knight could go to the a5 or e5, but I choose to play knight retreats on b8, alpha advance the queenside with a4, he want to play bishop here, then castle, pawn pushing to put the king on there to move the f-pawn to f4 to control more center, we have castle, a6 and knight to d2, now he can play a5 to put the knight on b6 square like this to put pressure on this rook, or he can play f4, believe me f4 is totally possible because of this pawn structure, black cannot seize dark square to create weaknesses in dark squares, also alpha can advance his queenside pawns, he have good opportunities, we have knight to d7, he played a3, he can play c4 to stabilize the structure instead of moving the knight on c4, and h3 move plan I already told you, right. I sacrificed a pawn by playing b5, alpha takes the pawn, I moved my knight on a6, if you take it, then bishop takes, to grab the diagonal, so we have c4, knight back to d7, pawn takes, bishop takes, targeting this pawn with two pieces, so queen c2 to protect it, so knight e5 to pressure it, alpha played b3, now we have knight to d3, you cannot take the knight, because your rook will be gone, so rook b1, here you can play knight to b4 to pressuring the queen, but I take the bishop on c1. I don't recommend you to capture a piece that is underdeveloped and has never moved before with your advanced piece, but I did it because there is 20 move strategy which you cannot understand because of your 2 gigabytes ram brain, alpha takes the knight, knight back to d7, here my strategy is to move back my bishop to re-rotate the knight on a6, then play knight b4, here comes rook a2 with the supporting of the knight, rook will get the second rank and bishop have diagonal on there and so on, okay. Alpha played f4, because he is a stockfish subscriber, he know my strategies, and chess friends, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, then you can like and subscribe to my channel to get more interesting, and educational contents, look at Alpha Zero's plan, he pushes all the pawns to get more space and more squares to control, his long term strategy is to play knight here, knight c3, then rook here, push the e pawn, after takes, takes, then push it, if takes then takes. This pawn is supported by the rook and it is enough to create problems for me, so here I move back my bishop, rook slides, rook goes to a3, my idea is to play queen here to get the a file, king slides, queen to a5, queen here, rook a2, knight here, bishop goes to a6, my bishop move plan is to slide the rook on a8, then rook b2, rook here to attack it and queen here to add pressure, so knight to c1 by alpha, rook b2, this rook is well protected by the bishop, and I want to play queen here, if takes then bishop. Once the queen falls then the queenside structure will be fall soon, so alpha slides the queen, bishop to b7, here if you think why not alpha just pushing his e pawn, but things are not simple, if e5 happen, then takes, knight takes, takes and takes, e3, the pawn cannot move or take it, because of the bishop and rook line up the innocent bishop, so after king slides, queen a to add pressure here, so rook here, takes, and takes, you will lose the e pawn and the position will be bad for you, so. Back to the position, we have g4, now he is threatening to play e5, we have queen c3, rook ups, queen backs, alpha played g5, bishop backs, h4, h5, you shouldn't play on Passan move, because you will lose the pawn, don't just look for on Passan, look for best moves, rook here, takes, takes, queen takes, knight takes, we have big exchange, knight b6, king ups, bishop here, I just want to play rook here to use the a-file to go to a1, bishop here, rook a8, knight here, rook a1, knight here, check, blocks, here, backs, rook here, rook slides, knight goes to d1, everybody protects everybody, alpha is doing well, rook slides, here, there, bishop takes, takes, knight backs, here, bishop to d4, we have knight to d2, alpha is playing perfectly, that's why I titled it perfect chess, there is very few weakness on pawn structure, 
you have to win at least Alpha's one pawn then the game is yours, but Alpha is perfectly put all his pieces, Rook slides to a1, Knight to e2, Bishop backs, King here, Knight backs, here, check, Knight here, comes, Rook slides. Here and check, backs, check here, Bishop here, takes, Rook, here, takes, here, takes and Knight takes, Rook h2 to target this pawn, Knight here. If you rook can take the pawn, let me show you, if rook takes happen, then e5, takes, it's not f takes e5, it's knight takes check, knight takes pawn and king here then d6, alpha will create his past d pawn, which will be unstoppable, so back to the position, we have king f8. In this position alpha have knight and rook versus my army and my army general, let's see the end game who will win to whom. In this position, both cannot make progress, we agreed with a draw, wish you all the best, thanks for watching and subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.